Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a favorites video. So I feel like I've been talking about new eyeshadow palettes for so, so long. And every once in a while I'll get a comment and it'll be one of you guys saying, Karen, we love seeing new makeup, but what are some of your favorites? And I actually really dislike two things on YouTube, favorites videos and ranking videos. Cause they're so hard to do just because I feel like I hate picking favorites. I hate saying, this is the product you need. I can't remember the last time I did a favorites video, so maybe that means that I've really found some gems here. And a lot of these products, I feel like I mentioned in like Sephora sale recommendations and things like that, but I did go around, I pulled skincare, random things, stuff from my bathroom. I don't know if I have any pregnancy things really but it's all over the place I just filmed my June monthly haul and I think that haul is gonna be about an hour long so bear with me and I just got done working and hanging out with my husband and I had this eye look on so I figured let me film a video otherwise there's no video for tomorrow so bear with me I love you guys and without further blabbering, let's get into it. Oh, I also want to let you know, I picked a winner for my 5k Instagram giveaway and I contacted them, they got back to me. I don't know if I should say who it is, but, but they do have a YouTube channel. I'll link them down in my description box in case you guys are interested in checking out the channel and I'm so excited because I know this person is a very conscious makeup buyer, so I'm very happy that the prize is going to somebody that will probably show it on their channel. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, okay, I'm going to stop blabbering, but the first favorite, I feel like if you've been watching my channel or my Instagram for the last couple of days, you'll know this palette and I have become fast, fast friends. This is the ColourPop Lush Life palette, and I'm actually wearing this on my eyes today, so... I've actually worn this palette four times, which I know it sounds like it's not a big deal, but it's a big deal for me because, like I said, I have a lot of first impressions on my channel. So for me to have kept reaching for this palette, it's got to be a good one in my opinion. So I just wanted to mention it in case you guys have been thinking about it. I love this because it has pops of color. But you can also do a neutral eye look and I like the pops of color because they're green and blue which are my favorite colors to wear on my eyes. Today I did kind of a fun mix of neutral with a pop of color. So if you don't want to do a full on peacock eye look, you can do like a neutral inner corner and a colorful outer corner. So I was just experimenting and I really like how this one turned out as well. So this is my favorite eyeshadow palette of the moment and I'm not going to mention any other eyeshadow palettes in this video but I feel like since I've been using this so much I wanted to talk about it in this video. Okay I have a lot of brush favorites but I want to shout out these two brushes. So the first one is the Zoeva concealer brush. I don't know what this is called exactly. Oh it's the 146 concealer perfector. I'll try and remember to link everything in my description box in case you guys want to find them. This one I got on Beauty Bay and I believe it's sold on Ulta, but it's been out of stock forever on Ulta. I'm still waiting for it to restock. And I don't know if you can buy it on the Zoeva website directly, but I don't believe they are a US based brand. I think their website ships from Europe somewhere. So I am waiting for this to restock on Ulta because I want to grab a few more. So if you guys ever see this restock, Please let me know because this has fast become my favorite way to apply my concealer. And this I purchased based on just hearing my friend Angie rave about it. And I think other people on YouTube mentioned it too, but Angie's the one I know has like mentioned it to me. So I really like it. It's really nice. And this shape, it's like really great for under eyes. And it's not too big, so I really like that. So the next brush is this 108 brush from BK Beauty. BK Beauty was so kind and they sent me a bunch of their brushes and I've been loving this one for under eye powder. And I actually use it for all over the face as well. I like the size of this brush because it really fits underneath my eyes and the shape is perfect for that as well. I don't do a lot of setting with powder products, but since I got this brush, it's made my life a lot easier. So for that reason, I'm including it in my favorites video. Okay, next things are some skincare favorites. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, 
you've heard me rave and rave and rave about the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I really want to get sponsored by Laneige just so they can send me re-ups on this product because I use it all the time, every day, morning and night time, so I'm always talking up on this. I have at least, I think, two backups right now in my drawer because I like to grab them on sale and also every once in a while I will find them on sale on the Laneige website. I know some of you guys have told me that I can get this on like Korean skincare websites. I don't spend enough time shopping those sites to see this on like a good deal and sometimes I'm not even sure if it's like the real price or a scam so I just buy this from like Sephora or the Laneige website and I just really like this. It doesn't strip my skin. It just hydrates and I really like that about this product because I have dry skin. I did try the spray as well as the face wash and I don't like those products as much as I like the toner. So I would say pass on those two but if you have dry skin and you have skin like mine then you might like this product. Another product I've repurchased so many times and that's pretty rare for me because I don't really pan things like I really am very slow when it comes to makeup and using things up. So this product I've also purchased many, many times. I haven't done an empties video in a while, but I know I have a few of these in my empties bin. And this is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. Ever since this launch, I've been purchasing it. And again, I have two backups of this. I showed it in my June haul video. You'll see that coming up, <laughs> but it's so good. It's hydrating. It doesn't irritate my skin. I like the pharmacy brand and I like their products in general, but this is definitely like my top product from them that I'm constantly reaching for. I used to love their Green Clean Face Wash and it's still really good, but I did find something that does work as effectively. That is a fraction of the cost, so I'll be talking about that in this video as well. Okay, the next few products are ones that I bought from my bathroom upstairs because I rarely bring things down here and I've been meaning to film this video for like the last two days so I've been trying to like make do without my favorite skincare and I personally hate it so that's why I came down here. It's literally 9 o'clock at night when I'm filming this video because I want to bring this stuff back up to my bathroom. So I have been loving this Tree Hut Whipped Shea Body Butter in the scent exotic bloom if you guys haven't smelled tree huts products do me a favor and just go sniff it because it smells so good and i've just been using this in the summertime to hydrate as well as the winter i don't really like putting lotion on but it definitely does help when it smells good because it makes it a little less daunting and my husband also loves the smell of this so he will every once in a while help me out and put this on me and it's very hydrating it has hemp seed oil and lavender and it smells amazing this is 8.4 ounces and I just love their products I wish they made more things but their body washes their body lotions and these whipped body butters and honestly they make a ton of body scrubs which I don't really use as much on myself so I don't use those as much and I don't buy them as much but I wish they would make their body scrubs in other products like they have this like lime scented body scrub that smells so good and it also comes in a body wash and a lotion oh my gosh so much better than Bath and Body Works and yeah I just wish that they were easier to find I know the body scrubs they sell at Target and Walmart but I have a way harder time finding their other body products so I bought this one from Ulta and they have a few more things on the Alta website as well, but oh my gosh, their products always smell phenomenal. So I wanted to mention that in this video. Next is a sunscreen I've been trying. So I feel like sunscreens are like infamous for being white cast and things like that. And honestly, where I'm from, like people don't really burn. They tend to avoid the sun. And I've lived in the US for almost like, what, 13 years now. And I finally learned my lesson with pregnancy. I sat out in the sun and I think I got a sunburn, which never has happened. So I decided it's time to get serious about sunscreen. So I did get this one. This is the Super Goop 
Everyday Lotion with Sunflower Extract. This is the SPF 50, and I really like this. I wear this under my foundation, and it doesn't disrupt my foundation or anything like that. You don't need a ton. And yeah, I'm just really trying to get serious about sunscreen and get my husband to also diligently apply that. So I've really been enjoying that Super Goop sunscreen. So next I'm going to show you guys this eye cream. This is such a good price. I think it's like 10 bucks. And this is the brightening eye cream from the Inky List. And it says instant illumination and long-term brightening, which I don't really know if it does all of that, but I will say I really like this metal tip applicator. Now, there's a lot of things that come with metal tip applicators, and I've never felt like they did anything. And I mean, this one's not going to like change your life and take away your under eye circles, but it is very soothing. And for the price point, I think it's worth checking out if you're looking for an affordable eye cream. Next is a deodorant and I don't know this is kind of silly but I love this smell. I have this in a body wash and it smells so good and I was looking for this for so long and I didn't realize it was actually in the men's section at Target so I don't know if this is a men's scent but ooh, oops hopefully it's not broken. I don't know if this is considered a masculine scent but I love it. So this is the native citrus and herbal musk deodorant. And it smells so good. I love how this smells. If you want to know what kind of perfumes I'm into, smell this at your drugstore. So this is aluminum and paraben free. I'm not really big on natural deodorants, but I love this fragrance so much. So I was like, let me grab that. Like I was really excited because I was looking on Amazon to see what other things they had in that same fragrance. But I started off loving the body wash and I would have bought it down here, but I'm like, Okay, like, <laughs> people came here for the makeup, not the skincare, but this is stuff, like, I buy and have just been really enjoying, so that's why I want to mention it to you guys. Another product, this is newer to me. I mentioned this again in my June haul video because I just got this, but this is the Pimple Paste from, what brand is this? I keep forgetting. Anyway, you can just look for this on Sephora, and it's so affordable, and it actually does work. So I really like this to just apply as a spot treatment for pimples and it's very concentrated. It kind of reminds me of the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask and instead of purchasing that whole mask, which I never get through in time, always goes bad on me, I would recommend grabbing this. Or you could grab the Glam Glow in a small size, like they have a sample size at Sephora and just use that as a spot treatment and it's super good. So. That's my recommendation if you have acne that you want to attend to. Um, I find this as effective as some of the pimple patches I own, so highly recommend that. And next is a hair care favorite. I don't know what it is. Like, I cannot really put oil in my hair because it turns into a greasy hot mess. I have an oily scalp, so anytime I see oil, I like kind of want to back away slowly. But this Verb Ghost Oil has been so, so handy. It is so good and it's really true to its name the fact that it's called ghost oil because i'll put it on it'll tame all my frizz especially now with the summertime and i've been wearing my hair down a lot too just because it's getting really long and i have my dyson so i've been wearing it down a lot but this is amazing because it does what an oil does but overnight it almost like absorbs away so then i feel like my hair is clean again because sometimes when you put oil in your hair it can leave like a greasy residue and I don't get that with the ghost oil and it's also like $14 or something on Sephora so this highly recommend it's so so good and it smells amazing and they also have a shampoo and conditioner I have not tried the shampoo and conditioner in a while I did try it a while ago like a couple of years ago and I didn't love it but a lot has changed so who knows maybe if I try it now it'll be a different experience because there was a time that I bought this and I loved it and then I stopped using it and then I picked it back up and I'm just like loving this product so it now lives upstairs in my bathroom where I style my hair another favorite is this dossier fragrance so every month they send me some fragrances to try and this one honestly has been my favorite fragrance this is the green Verbana and I do have a discount code with them so you do save 10% but I always feel like they're running a really good sale on their website anyway um, but I will link this for you guys the top notes are Verbana green leaves and peppermint middle notes are orris violet leaves 
aquatic accord and then the bass notes are sandalwood gray amber gray amber and patchouli so i really really love how this smells i know it's a dupe to a much more expensive fragrance i don't remember what the fragrance was but i was like hooked by the description so really really enjoy this fragrance i put it all over me before i head out to work every day okay so here is my dupe to the green clean but much cheaper obviously it's not as like it's not the same texture as the green clean but honestly this is like way less messy too the fact that it comes in a squeezy tube so i think if pharmacy came out with a more liquid green clean that would be a game changer so this is the oat cleansing balm helps remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin in five fluid ounces from the inky list I actually saw this in, I think, like a Makeup by Cheryl or Babs Beauty Sephora recommendations, and I grabbed it, and I haven't even finished this yet. This is my first one, but I definitely know I'll be repurchasing this. You can also leave this on for 10 minutes as a nourishing face mask. I think it's very, very good at taking off my makeup, and I really like this, and I think this product is under 15 bucks, so highly recommend. Like. If you are looking for something to replace a much more expensive product like like oil balm cleanser, this is the product for you. Okay, so we have some makeup favorites for me to share as well. And I will try to make this quick and snappy because I already feel like I talked for so, so long. But I've been loving this Patrick Ta eyeliner. This is just in the shade black. I think he has three more shades that I would love to pick up. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to use the one I have. And this is so nice. It's so glidey and creamy and yeah I really enjoy it so I just wanted to mention this in this video. A product that I've had for a while that wasn't getting much use but now I'm using it a lot is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night Stay All Day. I've been using this for work because it is supposed to help prolong my makeup for 16 hours and I feel like the proof is in the pudding because I did this makeup I had to work at 11 today so I did my makeup around 10 a.m. and it's about 10 o'clock at night. Well, it's like 9.09. .09. So it's lasted like a couple of hours on me and I think that's pretty impressive. So I spray this on very generously every time I go to work. If I'm just filming, if I'm staying at home, I'll use one of the other setting sprays I have. But if I'm leaving the house, if I'm going to work, I like to spray this on because I want my makeup to look beautiful, obviously. So yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this and definitely plan on using this up and using up some of my other setting sprays as well. But yeah, really enjoying that from Charlotte Tilbury. Next is a foundation I have on. This is the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. What is this called? It's the Faux Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. And I feel like I've been raving about this since I got it. I remember that when this launched, it was in so many people's Sephora recommendations video. And I was like, no, it's overhyped. I'm not going to get it. So I didn't get it. And then finally, I think it was the November Sephora sale. I got it and I fell in love and I was like, oh my gosh, that was so dumb of me. I should have bought it when it first launched. So anyway, I ended up buying it and then the last Sephora sale I bought a summer shade. So I've just been so happy with this product. I really like Huda's complexion products like her full filter foundation was my jam. But again, my preferences have changed. I still love full coverage, but that original full filter foundation feels like cement on my face and I used to be able to deal with that but I can't deal with it anymore. I don't know if it's because of my age or something but it feels like cement and I really 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 want to go through my foundation drawer so there's definitely like a declutter in the mix somewhere on my channel. It's coming. I want to do it in the summertime and just do like a declutter and then maybe do one for vlogmas as well but anyway. I really like this foundation. It's so good. It's creamy. It's so quick and easy to apply. I just take it and then I roll it up and then I just coat my face with it and then I just blend it out with a brush. So, so easy. Love it so much. If she stopped making this, I would cry because I really, really like this foundation and it's lasted me a long time. Like I thought with it being a stick foundation, I might end up like getting through it fast, but nope, it's been good so far. Okay, so 2020 happened, 2021 happened, everybody had to wear face masks, but I feel like 
the lipstick products have not slowed down and honestly I'm here for it. I know a lot of people are really into glosses right now and, and lip tints and things like that and lip stains and lip oils and I love all those products too but honestly liquid lips have always been my jam. Call me old fashioned. That is something that definitely hasn't changed in my makeup routine and boy oh boy do I love these from Kaleidos. So these are the lip clays. I also have the darker shades and I'm always wearing either these or the darker shades when I go to work, when I film. I've talked about these so many times. I want to do a lip swatch video. I haven't done it yet. But every time I feature these in a video, I try to tell you guys. Just so you know that I do wear these a lot. And the nudes are amazing. I think my favorite shade is Tara. I just love this so much. It's like my signature rusty lip color. Today I have on a Lunar Beauty liquid lipstick. And honestly, this formula is really comfy too. So I would recommend checking that out. But if you guys get a chance, I think these are back in stock now because they did restock the Flower Punk collection. And honestly, I love Kaleido's eyeshadow, but this lip collection, so good. And the packaging is stunning. Have you guys seen those tins that they came in? Anyway, I really love those. Okay, let me get another liquid lipstick formula out of the way. I've been loving the Odin's Eye Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Again, I've been wearing these in videos. I wear them to work all the time. I think my favorite shade is Apricot Girl, I think. Yeah, it's, oh no, sorry, it's Ripe Papaya. The hard thing about these is the sticker doesn't really tell you what the color is like on the inside. But again, you guys know I'm a sucker for a rusty brown nude shade and that's what this one is. So. I really like these. I think they're comfortable. I like to wear them. I think they're long lasting. They last through my shift at work and I don't think these are too pricey either. I know some of my friends have discount codes so if you're placing an Odin's Eye order, highly recommend checking these out. Also make sure you like liquid matte lipsticks because if you don't like liquid matte lipsticks you might not like these but I'm a fan so I'm still very much on board. I know liquid lipsticks are like so 2015, but I still wear them. I still love them way more than traditional bullet lipsticks because you don't have to worry about them melting in your car. And yeah, I just like that they stay put. So those are my two big favorite things about liquid matte lipsticks. <laughs> okay, so I love a lot of cream blushes. And I haven't really done a full review on these, so I figured I'd mention them in this video, but I only bought two, which I'm very proud of because God knows I'm being so tempted every time Melt has a sale or they come in stock on Sephora. But these are the Melt Cream Blushes. They're so gorgeous. They're so easy. They're not easy to overdo, so that's really nice if you worry about applying too much. These are very blendable. And so I have the shade Sundown, which is like a beautiful bronzy shade with a ton of shimmer. And the shade Polish. These are so stunning. Oh my gosh, so perfect. Summertime, wintertime, you know I'm going to be rocking these. So these always stay on my makeup desk because I really like reaching for them. And then a product I've been raving about has been the Juvia's Place Eyeshadow Primer. I bought these when they launched and no regrets. Oh my gosh, did you guys see the new Juvia's Place quads? I ordered all four of them. I'm still waiting to get shipping notification. I hope they come soon. But I do like the eye primer. I think it really prolongs my eyeshadow wear. I'm wearing it today underneath my ColourPop eyeshadows. And like I said, I've had this makeup on since about 10 o'clock this morning. It's about 9 o'clock at night. So I have put this through the ringer. I really like it. And it's really affordable. My previous favorite was the P. Louise base and you can only really get that at Morphe or on the P. Louise website and I would rather just buy this on Ulta or the Juvia's Place website so pretty much a no-brainer. They also have a white shade. I haven't tested the white out as much as this neutral one and this is shade 2 and it works perfectly for me. We're almost done. Of course if you guys followed me last summer you know my obsession with the Kosas Tinted face oil, it's back baby, it's back for round two. We're having hot girl summer over here. And I was curious to know if I would love this as much as I did last summer and so far, so good. You just need the tiniest bit, it's so glowy, it lasts long. 
For a tinted face oil, the name is deceiving because when you think of a tinted face oil, you don't think it's going to last that long. But I have gotten through some very long days with this foundation and it's absolutely stunning. So glowy. I know it's not for everyone, but I personally like it. And if you like the kind of makeup I like, you might like this. So just want to mention that. But oh god, I love that product so, so much. So it had to come join me for Hot Girl Summer 2021. <laughs> okay, next is a old favorite and a new favorite in the bron bronzer category. So I pulled out my Kosas bronzer. This is in the shade medium. Oh my gosh, I was just like raving and raving and raving and raving about this bronzer when it launched and it's still just as good. It's just like the perfect little hint of bronzer. I'm wearing it today. It shows up on my skin tone and I really like this bronzer. I would love to hit pan on it, so we'll see, we'll see. I'm not a project panner, but this is one of my favorite products from Kosas. It's so, so good. Definitely a summer must-have, in my opinion. Okay, so the new bronzer favorite is the Chanel bronzer, and oh my gosh, I feel like Chanel is, like, not doing its job by only having this in two shades. So I got the shade 395. I've owned the other shade before 390. It's too light for me. It's basically my skin tone, but this one, oh, it's so pretty. It's so blendable. It just, oh, it's just like butter, and I think this is 50 bucks, which sounds scary, but you get so much product. It's going to take me like a lifetime to use this up. There is a net weight of one ounce, so again, there's a ton of product. Never going to run out of this. I have no excuse. I have no reason to buy another cream bronzer so I'm trying not to because I really want the elf bronzer just to compare but I don't need it somebody else can film that video it's not my problem I like the Chanel one I wish they would make it in more colors because more people deserve to have the great bronzer experience I have every time I use that product okay another oldie but a goodie is the NARS concealer again I rave and rave and rave and rave about this I got it in a different shade this last time I purchased it it's medium dark to caramel and this works really well with the Zoeva brush. I think that combination just, whew, I love it. It makes my under eyes feel really flawless and I like having a thinner concealer under my eyes. I've tried so many that my friends have raved about but honestly I feel like this is just the one for me. So I like it in the winter time. I've really enjoyed it in the summertime. It stays put. It's very nice. So highly recommend checking this out if you have not. I know my friend Teresa is dead loves using this as a eyeshadow primer. She literally buys it as an eyeshadow primer. I typically don't do that. I just use it as a concealer and I love it so much. It's so smoothening and just easy to use, especially with that Zoeva brush. Obviously, I don't like to use my fingers when it comes to makeup, so I'm not like sticking my finger in there and trying to like do my under eyes, but it works really well with the brush. Last but certainly not least is a new highlighter, and it's hard to have highlighter favorites because I feel like everything's been done, but I really like this formula. This is the Makeup by Mario Honey Highlighter. This is a soft glow, and I love it. It's just so natural. It's so, so pretty. This is my favorite thing that I got from his makeup line because I tried his blush, I tried his bronzer, I tried his um, cream blush as well, but this color on my skin tone just so beautiful and just makes me feel like a glowy goddess, but it's also not like too much. Like I'm not beaming, but it's like there, it's subtle. It's like, hello, but it doesn't take over my face and it doesn't give me like a gray cast. So I really like this particular product. Favorite thing from his line. I really, really like it. So those are my favorites for the summertime. Some of these products I've been using for years and years and years. I've repurchased many, many times. And yeah, I just wanted to share them with you guys because sometimes you guys get a little nosy and you're like, what are your favorites? We like all the new makeup, but we want to know what are your holy grail things. And these are some of the holy grail things that I reach for over and over again. If you check my description boxes, these products are linked over and over again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like this is gonna take me 100 hours to edit, but it'll be worth it. Leave me some of your product favorites down in the comments. You guys know I love chatting to you in my comment section, so I will see you down there, and I will see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.